Hey, what's going on all my Cloud Scholars out there? My name is Kieran Tross and I am your host once again. Uh, so this uh, video, what we're gonna be talking about is I'm gonna introduce you to what are playbooks. So when it comes to playbooks within Azure, they're a very powerful tool. Playbooks are, are, are associated with logic apps, right? And what you're doing with your Azure playbooks is they're essentially uh, workflows. So if an incident happens, something gets triggered, then you want this workflow to, to, to start right away. It's an automation process so you can keep your environment safe. So there are different ways of running a playbook. So uh, you can do it manually on demand on a particular entity or alert, or you can have an automatic response to specific alerts or incidents when triggered by an automation rule. Now, I really like this because when you're ingesting your data within Azure Sentinel, what you're doing is you're sending your activity logs. You might be sending stuff from your Defender. You're sending all these different connections into your Azure Sentinel. And what it's doing is it's really going through each of those logs. And when an alert, when it sees something come in, like a suspicious IP or brute force password, you're, if you were to do this yourself, you would have to look at those logs and then now go remove the user, revoke the rights, or do whatever remediation you need to take care of. With the automation and playbooks, it says, okay, this is what I want done. I want these three steps done. I want the account removed. I want it disabled. I also want to have an email generated and sent to the manager to let them know exactly what's going on. Or you could reset a password. That is the that is the powerfulness of automation rules because when you're setting these things up and you're doing playbooks, it's doing all these actions for you that you would have to do it manually. So I was mentioned earlier, I was talking about security. So playbooks improve your security. So let's look at two ways that, you know, these are two simple ways. If a break glass account logged in from outside a safe IP list, a playbook can perform some type of remediation such as disabling the account. If a machine is compromised, playbook can isolate the machine from the network. So let's talk about some limitations. Playbooks can only be used within the subscription to which it belongs, unless you specifically grant Microsoft Sentinel permissions to playbook resource groups. So as you see on this screen, and I, we talked about this, I believe it was in part two or three, but we talked a little bit about the settings and the workspace settings. So if you were to go into your Azure Sentinel and you would go into settings, and then from settings, you would go into, um, uh, your uh, settings fields, so there's three fields up there. Have you seen that little screen says pricing and settings and workspace settings? You'll go into settings and there you'd be able to say about playbook permissions. And those permissions, you can see wh um, which permissions they have for those specific resource groups. So playbook template facts. So a playbook template is a pre-built, tested and ready to use workflow that can be customized to meet your needs. Playbook templates aren't usable as playbooks themselves. You create a playbook and editable copy of the template from them. So when you go grabbing the template, you go ahead, you rename it to whatever you want to name it to, and you go ahead and you enable that uh, playbook. So if you need to know exactly where they're located, so playbooks um, on the automation page, the playbook templates tab lists the playbook templates installed. When a new version of the template is published, the active playbook created from that template shows up in the active playbooks. Playbook templates are available as part of the product solution or standalone content that you install from Content Hub page in Microsoft Sentinel. The Microsoft Sentinel GitHub repository contains many playbook templates. All right, so over at the Azure portal, if you go to automation, right here, you have these three tabs. You have automation rules, you have active playbooks, and then you have your playbook templates. So right here is where you would see all your different templates. And my computer is moving a little slow right now. I apologize. But this is where you'll see all your playbook templates, and they come up. And you can see the different triggers that they have. If I open this up, it says Microsoft Sentinel Incident. This is Microsoft Sentinel Incident. This is Microsoft Sentinel Alert. This is Microsoft Sentinel Entity, right, which is in preview. So that is pretty much it for this video. This is a introduction. It's wanted to let you know exactly what playbooks are and where you can find playbooks. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up a playbook for your organization. Uh, so once again, my name is Kieran Tross. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button here at Cloud Scholars. My goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and of course, consultant to expert. Thank you. See you next time.